when I was younger, like my father used to always kind of not not put pressure on, but kind of ask, demand me to take um, you know, penalties, free kicks, and stuff like that. He used to always say, "Get your goals in, you get your name to paper, and stuff like that." That's how people start recognizing things. So it's kind of in me from a young age to, to to be taking them and always kind of practice them and stuff like that. So I'd say one of the better ones would have been against Bowes at home to in in Toma Park. Um, we were one of the downers about five minutes to go and um, managed to score um, and then we ended up scoring the last minute to win it so that would have been one of the one of the better ones as with regard goals I can't really remember many from open play <laughs> um, but uh, there was one at home for Longford against in Jackman Park um, I'd say it was probably the first and last goal I scored with my right foot outside the kind of edge of the box um, but yeah like, like some of the goals have obviously helped us win games stuff like that throughout the years and um, again, I enjoy taking penalties, enjoy taking free kicks. So um, I'll just you know, hopefully over the next kind of game or so, I might get another few opportunities to, to get another couple of goals. Yeah, so we start, started as um, a five or six year old going in there, you know, and we were playing with your mates around. There was um, kind of a family kind of in the club at the time, just kind of the same kind of five or six figures that were there with my father. Jimmy Collins, Tom Considine, Ger Hogan, Jerry Joyce would have all been in around the underage set, uh, set, set up. So um, like it was a good good place for, for players to learn, you know, um, at that age. They were they, they were excellent, like, you know, for bringing, bringing us through. Um, we always had good teams which helped as well, um, winning leagues and winning, winning, um, excuse me, winning cups every year. Uh, so, look, it was a great great platform for, for school by football, obviously, for myself to, to grow up in. Um, and that obviously did help me to to kind of get the move across across to England and um, it was playing in playing in the FEI under 17s against um, Cherry Orchard just when kind of stuff started to materialise after I scored a hat trick um, just my name kind of got put around Dublin and clubs and um, it kind of went from there really then after that yeah it was it was surreal at this at the start you know you're you're kind of obviously moving away from your family and um, it was you're going into into training and you don't know any players really as such and it's a massive 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 change for a 15 year old at the time you know so but it was something that you I always wanted to do and you could see all the, the, the other kids inside there wanted to be there as well and playing you know so it's, it's just a case of trying to get settled in first like you're going in and you're training realistically something that you've been doing the last 10 11 years of your life since you were able to kick a ball so it was just straight away enjoyment was one of the things I'd say you know and then um, as as the kind of months went on and stuff, you could see how serious it was compared to when you just go train once or twice a week with your school or club, and then you play a game the weekend and you're at home with your mates. It was intense training four or five days a week, and and the games on the weekend mattered. Your performances were scrutinised all the time, you know. So, um, but like look, it was it was very enjoyable um at that age, you know, to go over and it was something you wanted to do and and, and something that every kid in, in Ireland that plays football wants to wants to do when they when they grow up. Yeah, look, like like I said, it was, it was very enjoyable. Um, going over there was just something that you wanted to do all the time. So, uh, I was just happy to stay injury free over there when I first moved over as well. Um, and then just playing every single game, it was great. And being in and around the kind of reserve team, I think I've got maybe six or seven appearances. Um, and it was against you know, kind of every so often I played, it might be first team coming back from injury, regards to other clubs, and you can see you know the level that they have and things like that, like so. Yeah, look, it is definitely tough for, for, for kind of kids going over and stuff like that and the support that the clubs give are, are imperative for, for people's development and things like that, especially at that age, you know. So um, yeah, it was it was brilliant the first that, that year there was was, was excellent, definitely, and um, it was something that I just enjoyed uh, all the time when I was there. I wasn't really aware of the League of Ireland um, as such from a young age, so... Um, I just when I came back from England initially, I went straight into into a trade. You know, I went went back into working and just trying to get something um, after coming back from 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 being in England. So it was just um, uh, January the following year um, when I come back, I got a call from Galway to go up, and it was just after I actually went up in a week's trial and I'd signed at the end of that week, and it was two weeks later and that kind of Limerick started materialising again. Paul McGee, I think, came in at the time manager, and like as you said, they were trying to get. Kind of a lot of my friends that would have grown up with playing from U team and stuff as well when I come back were starting to sign and I, I had already signed for um for Galway at the time and when I received the the phone call of Paul McGee so from then I was kind of really known it was always keeping an eye on um on Limerick from after that and um the following season then I ended up signing on loan from.
when when it was kind of announced um, a few months ago. Before that, I had spoke with kind of uh, the club in, in regards to having it in Marcus Field and and um, with George Lee, like you know, I can't uh, obviously thank him enough for for the opportunity to to host the testimony in there. It's as I said previously, it's an excellent venue and um, they've been very very supportive himself and the and Sport and Limerick and. Um, I just really, really am grateful for, for them giving the opportunity to, to host the inside in the, in the Marcus Field. Last t- 10 years now has been, it's been a great 10 years, um, the last couple um, in particular. So it's just at the moment I'm just going to see out the end of the season. Um, I've seen a new manager coming in in the middle of the, middle of the summer, you know, you're just trying to try and impress him as much as you can. So um, look, I'm just focusing really, um, to be honest, on, on what we kind of the job we have left to do within the league. You know, we're not still mathematically safe by any means and getting into the semi final of the, of the cup. So, to be honest, I haven't really thought that far yet. Um, I'm just going to enjoy the game Saturday, um, obviously, before after the, the, the great game, first to get a win first, and then um, just take the last kind of six to hopefully eight games with, with two cup games involved um, and just see, see what really happens at the end of the season. Sit down with the club again and, and see what the, what the next step will be.